I'm Carson Huey. I'm the youngest bachelor's, master's, and PhD graduate at Texas Christian University. I'll be graduating with my PhD in physics. I'll be Dr. Huey Yu. When I first started TCU, I was accepted at 10 and then I started attending classes at 11. By age two, he was reading chapter books. By age five, he was already doing pre-calc, and he was reading just anything. At 10, he was a senior in high school. He was getting ready to graduate. He wanted to be a physicist, a theoretical quantum mechanic physicist, as a matter of fact. We looked at local schools, and he just didn't like it. He just, it was, they were just big, and they were kind of cold, as he described it. Um, there was no love there. Of, he was only 10, so. Um, so I said, okay, well, let's try TCU. They showed up in my, my office, and Cannon was there too, and I sensed that it might be able to work, given just what I heard and how they discussed this high school experience and, and the maturity of, of Carson at that, at that time, and he was 10. I celebrate that kind of every year, that day, as it comes up on my calendar. The first day of classes was very different to what I was used to because I went to a very small high school and coming onto a college campus, getting into those classes was, it was a new experience definitely, but it was one that I got used to fairly quickly within the first couple of semesters. There's no better place to grow up than on campus, right? I mean, this is like his whole world and he loved it. He could learn whatever he wanted to learn. There were, there were no limits. And I think about the journey, it, you know, number one, God, always first. And then a village of people that allowed him to be on campus, but still be a little boy. In the beginning, we, were, we met every day and he would come and we would, we would work on physics and math stuff, but we would also just goof around and play and Cannon was there and just make him feel at home. And uh, our conference room became their sort of, not, it's not a playroom, but it was an experience room where we did science, but we also did, you know, just goofy experiments on the floor or running around the table or whatever. Dr. Ritby is a really, really invaluable role model as far as not just advising but also mentoring and um, I'm 21 now so he's kind of watched me grow up in that sense. Just in general like in life kind of a father figure um, he's taught me a lot about problem solving on one side but also problem solving just in life. He is the father figure that they really needed. He's funny and happy and he's a special gift to the world. This is the best village that we could have possibly ever had. It doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better at all. This is it.